here is the aftermath of the two 2020 GT500s that were involved in the accident where a car hauler flipped onto its side. The first one that everybody was noticing was the Grabber Lime GT500 and it was a track pack car, the carbon fiber track pack. The other car is this iconic silver uh, base model GT500. A lot of people were wondering if it was a GT500 or not because it's really hard to tell from the pictures that were on the highway but it is in fact a 2020 GT500 as well. Both these cars were being towed by an F-350. There's a lot of criticism to whether the person towing these cars had loaded them onto the trailer right. They were still strapped down to the trailer tight enough that they didn't come off the trailer and Ford was able to come and get a different car hauler there to help get them off of that trailer without damaging them any further. So these cars, like I said, were on the trailer loaded in a way that some people were being very critical of the weight and balance, although some skeptics say that they believe there probably was a third GT500 on the back that was already delivered, and that's why those two are higher up like that, and that the driver just decided to continue on to the next stop. Now, these cars look awful on their side like that. Everybody's freaking out about it. it you know, it is terrible to see such awesome cars like that. But the truth is they weren't damaged too terribly and um, a lot of people were commenting and saying how this is actually quite minor damage compared to what they've seen repaired and sold. At this point it's said that these cars still belong to Ford, that they were not um, under the new owner's ownership yet. This was right outside of Detroit on I-75 so it was real near where these cars were built. People recognize the trailer that they're on now in these pictures and say that that is the truck that takes the cars to Penske. This is a Ford uh, trailer, so they know that the cars are going back to Ford. They could be repaired at Ford and sold new. They could be salvaged immediately. Only time will tell what happens to these cars. The iconic silver GT500 suffered the bigger amount of damage with the front really crunching the hood there it was shoved into the jackknifing trailer and truck so it had the most damage on the front of it there. As far as the green one goes um, the real big thing about that is it's a it's a track pack car so that's an $18,500 option with a carbon fiber track pack is what it's called and that's on a $74,000 base price car so some people were saying well at least it didn't have the uh, $10,000 painted stripes on it yet and some speculated that that's where the cars were going was to get their stripes painted on them. But um, I think some people ru actually ruled that out as that was not the case. Ford did put out a statement saying that they knew about the accident and that nobody was injured. And that's a really good thing. Some people were speculating that the Grabber Lime car belonged to Stang Mode, who's a big YouTuber and who just watched his being built. But others have ruled that out because... His car is not a carbon fiber track pack car like this one is. His is a base model car. I was wondering what the first GT500 will be wrecked of all the 2020s, and here are the first two, if you do not include the test car that was wrecked while hitting a curb. So in the end, it's real sad to see this. Um, of course, these pictures are going to be all over the Internet, but this is what people are talking about. They're saying whose fault it was, the conditions, what's going to happen to the car. Most likely these cars will be fixed and sold again.